Thank you. Good evening, and welcome to the campus of Saginaw Valley State University in the James E. O'Neill Arena and Ryder Center for the Health and Physical Education. No doubt you are eagerly, eagerly anticipating tonight's commencement and are proud of the accomplishments of the person you are here to celebrate. Before the celebration begins, please allow me to share a few housekeeping notes. Nobody flipped the page. Yeah. I think you've heard that story once already. I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> this is my first time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand for our national anthem and remain standing for the invocation, which will be presented by Dr. Mamie Thorns. Good evening. As we are standing here together this evening, a part of each graduate's dream realized, let us give thanks together in a moment of silence. This ceremony in all of its pomp and circumstance unites us in our dreams of promise and equality for all. It allows us to collectively celebrate our graduates' accomplishments, our cultures, our ideas, and our hopes. We commemorate the very best within each of us here in this moment of time together. Our hearts swell with gratitude. We humbly appreciate the support of the graduates' families, their loved ones, their teachers, mentors, peers, and all who have stood behind us, putting aside differences with an eye toward a promising future that is marked by today's commencement. May each graduate and all who are gathered here not forget the power of this very moment. May this day be a reminder that hard work diligence, support, and tenacity are what have brought us to this day with you. Recall the power of this moment, the common bond we share, the inclusive celebration of achievement and success among the diversity of people who are united for a dream, all for one and one for all. Amen. The pre-commencement concert was presented by the Flint Symphony Brass Quintet.
Please join me in expressing our appreciation. Welcome to the Saginaw Valley State University Winter 2014 Graduation Ceremony. I would like to take a moment to introduce seven members of SVSU's governing board who are with us today. These citizens are appointed by the governor of Michigan to serve the university, and they do so with commitment and distinction. I will ask them to stand, then ask that you join me in thanking them for their service. The chairman of the committee, Mr. Jeffrey Martin, Vice Chairman Kathy Ferguson, Secretary Janae Velasquez, Treasurer Scott Carmona, Mr. David Gamez, Mr. John Kunitzer, Mr. Jerome Yance, please join me in thanking them for their service. We have a representative group of faculty and staff with us today. To our graduates, these faculty and staff are Saginaw Valley State University, and now I, I now ask them to stand. Please recognize them for their work, which brings honor to our university and value to the degrees, to the degrees awarded today. There are also two staff members here today who will be retiring this summer from full-time service to SVSU. Mr. Chris Looney, Assistant Vice President for Academic Affairs. Chris came to SVSU in 1978. He will be retiring in June with 36 years of service. And Dr. Tai Chi Lee, Professor of Computer Science and Information Management. Information Systems. Dr. Lee came to SVSU in 1988. He will be retiring with 26 years of service to SVSU. As part of this, the May commencement ceremony, we traditionally acknowledge two very important awards given to members of our faculty. The Landy Teaching Excellence Award, and the Warwick Award for Excellence in Research. I now ask Dr. Deborah Huntley, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, to introduce the recipients whose accomplishments are detailed in your program. The late Frank A. Landy was a Dow Chemical Company research scientist who taught here in the early days of Saginaw Valley State University. The Frank A. Landy Teaching Excellence Award is presented each year to an outstanding member of the faculty. This year, the recipient is Dr. Joshua Odie, Associate Professor of Kinesiology. You will find a brief biography of Dr. Odie in your program. Dr. Odie, please stand and be recognized for this honor. Congratulations. The late Earl L. Warwick Award for Excellence in Research is made possible by an endowment from the Dow Corning Corporation in recognition of Dr. Warwick, who served for 41 years as an outstanding researcher. Dr. Warwick also served as dean of the, of the College of Science, Engineering, and Technology here at Saginaw Valley State University. This year, the Warwick Award is being given to Dr. Tai Chi Lee, Professor of Computer Science and Information Systems. You will find a brief biography of Dr. Lee in your program. Dr. Lee, please stand and be recognized for this honor. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
Our commencement speaker today is Patrick McGinnis. Mr. McGinnis has served as Chief Executive Officer of Fathead LLC since 2009. Perhaps best known for their life-size graphics of professional athletes, this Michigan-based company is the industry leader of officially licensed sports and entertainment graphics. In 2013, Fathead was named a top workplace by the Detroit Free Press for the fourth time. Prior to Fathead, Mr. McGinnis worked 16 years at the Quicken Loans Corporation, including serving as President and Chief Operating Officer from 2003 until 2009. He joined the company in 1993 as a mortgage banker and rose through the ranks to become a branch manager and a regional branch manager. Mr. McGinnis is an avid sportsman and minority owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers NBA basketball franchise. He is a native of Flint, Michigan, and completed his bachelor's degree in criminal justice from Saginaw Valley State University in 1988. Please join me in honoring and welcoming our speaker this evening, Patrick McGinnis. Thank you. It's an honor to be back here, and thank you, Board of Trustees, faculty. So I promise you, I will only take about 40 minutes. Okay, you good with that? I'm just kidding, okay? Seven to 10 minutes. And I <laughs> See, I knew it. And I'll tell you why, too. First of all, I never thought I'd be up here wearing one of these, but this is pretty awesome. Thank you for having me. So as I was preparing for my speech, I was uh, perplexed. I, I didn't know what to say because recently I've been to some college graduations and even thinking back to my own, I couldn't remember who gave the speech. I couldn't remember what they said. Now you may think I'm a poor listener, I don't think so, but it was more of the same. So what I came up with today was seven principles that I would have liked to have known when I was sitting in your chair in December of 1988 as I was getting ready to enter the work, workforce. So I'm going to give you seven things, and hopefully we can get one of them to stick, right? Because he here's my goal tonight. You may not remember who I am five minutes after this is over. You may not remember what company I was associated with. But hopefully if you can take away one thing tonight that can make a difference in your career, I feel like I did my job. So are you with me on that? Okay. Here we go. Always be raising your level of awareness. So in the workplace, there's an interesting phenomenon. You know, as human beings, we're, we're creatures of habit, right? You drive the same way to school or work. You walk in the same door. You walk to your desk the same way. You walk to the coffee station the same way. And things are changing, and you don't even see them. So Yogi Berra, who many of you may not know, I don't really remember him, but he said an interesting quote. He said, you can see a lot just by looking. And so what I'm asking you to do is be curious. Because awareness is a choice. Be curious. Ask questions. Because if you do that in the organizations that you're part of, I guarantee you, you will see things that need to be fixed, that are broken, that can be improved, and you will be labeled a difference maker. And when you're labeled a difference maker, you're separating yourselves from your peers. This next one is near and dear to my heart. We are the they. You're probably wondering, well, what does that mean? So we hire a lot of new people in Detroit. And they'll come in and I'll ask them a question and I'll say, well, wh why did you do that? Well, because they said to do it. Well, who's they? So, you know, you have the worker bees, right? They're in the trenches getting the job done. And then you have the leaders over here. And they say, well, it was my leader. Then you go to the leader and you say, well, wh wh you know, what's going on over here? Well, uh, I don't know why they did it. I mean, there is no they. It's we. You're one. You're a team. If you have a we mentality when you go into your respective businesses, or organizations, you will take ownership. You now start to create an ownership mentality. So when they come to you, you say, no, we're we, and you can question things. You can make a difference. There's three types of people in this world. There's people who watch things happen, there's people who wonder what happened, and there's people who make things happen. Okay, number five. Choose optimism, and you can change the outcome. I call it the optimism life cycle. 
right? Every day we get up, things happen to us, right? We interact with people, events happen, and then thoughts start to get created. The critical point in this life cycle, because what do you put into that thought process? Is the glass half empty or is it half full? Do you put negative thoughts or do you put optimism? Because what happens from there, that thought becomes a feeling, which then becomes an emotion, which then becomes a behavior, which creates consequences. Negative in, negative out. Positive in, positive out. Number four, you need to create raving fans of you in whatever organization you're part of. This is important because let me tell you what, you can be the smartest person in your organization. You can be the hardest worker, but if you want to move up, you have to create relationships with the people that you work with because they will become your advocates. Well, how do you do that? Well, you take interest in people. Everybody has a story. It's your job to read the book, understand the story. Well, how do you do that? You listen. You actively listen. You don't sit and wait to say the next word out of your mouth. You listen to what people say. You take curiosity. Okay? The more you give, the more you get. If you give to the people that you work with, you will get more in return. So here's how it works. When people know you care about them, they begin to trust you. And when they trust you, they become insanely loyal. And when they become insanely loyal, they become your raving fans. You want to move up in an organization? Create raving fans. Just like negativity and gossip spreads throughout school, throughout a workplace, that will spread too. Number three. Yes before no. Well, we live in a society where no is just easy. We have a bias towards no for a number of reasons. But I'm asking you to have a bias towards the yes side of life. Because if you say yes, you now open your mind up to creativity and innovation. Now, it doesn't mean everybody that comes to you with ideas or asking for something that you're yes, 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 yes but it opens your mind up to a new world because it's real easy to say no for a number of reasons. A, it's easy. B, because if you say yes, that might mean change and people are just scared to death of change. And so if you can embrace change and find the good in it, you will separate yourself from your peers. Number two, it's one of my favorites. Innovation is rewarded. Execution is worshipped. I'm going to use a football analogy for you guys who play football in here. So an idea is like getting to the 50-yard line. An idea plus executing on that idea is like scoring a touchdown. Okay, ideas, we need them. But if an idea doesn't move to execution, it's nothing more than a great idea. So I'm challenging you. If you have ideas, I see this with a lot of young people coming into our organization, Think through how you can implement it. And if you can't implement it, to find somebody that can. Number one, money follows. It doesn't lead. And I'm here to tell you, I'm living proof. If you chase money, you will be chasing it probably for the rest of your life, and you may not be that happy doing it. What you need to do, you need to chase the skills and the knowledge that it will take for you to be successful at what you're doing at this time. I see so many people who just want to move down the road. Oh, I want to make this, and I want this job, but they don't take care of business today. So my challenge to you is don't chase the money, okay? I would encourage you to chase being seen. And this is anecdotal, but that talks to work ethic. Be the first one in, the last one to leave. Here's the difference. Make sure your peers see it. Make sure the people that you work for see that work ethic. Because what starts to happen now, they see a person who's committed to improving their skill set, they see somebody who has the work ethic, and you will move up in that organization. So, in closing, success is not one big thing. It's a bunch of inches put together that will equal success. And now I just want to take a moment uh, just to share a personal story because I'll never have this opportunity again. Or maybe I will. I don't know. The president will have me back. I don't know. But um, I came to SVSU in 1987, and I went to a previous college. And uh, I came here. My grade point was in the, probably the low ones. I really do believe if I would have had one-tenth less on my grade point, I may have been considered a plant instead of a human. But the good news is... Things turned around, graduated with 375, but the reason that happened was because of SVSU. 
and the great staff here who took interest in me. And one gentleman in particular, he was a criminal justice professor at the time, and this was, he was a really young guy back then, really young. And his name was Don Bashan, now President Bashan. And President Bashan took a guy who had lacked self-confidence, who lost all his self-confidence. Emotionally, I was a train wreck. My grades were awful. And this man took interest in me. We talked about that relationship piece. He took interest in me. And quite frankly, he turned my life around. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll never forget that. It does choke me up a little bit because, you know, I've told him this before. And if it wasn't for him, I, wouldn't, I don't think I would be here today. So I just want to say special thanks, President Bashan. So thank you. I wish you much success. And I hope that many of you will come work in the city of Detroit. Thank you. Lost my place again. Thank you, uh, Patrick, for those uh, seven points. We have now arrived at the principal reason for these ceremonies, the conferring of degrees. SVSU still holds a tradition of speaking each and every name individually. This may take a while, but it's worth it. For each name spoken represents the pride and hopes of an individual and his or her family and friends. Applause and cheering are welcome. Air horns not preferred. But please be courteous to others and allow the next name that is going to be announced to be heard. The first candidates are those who have earned graduate degrees and I now ask Dr. Deborah Huntley, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, to the podium to present the candidates. Dr. Huntley. Thank you, Mr. President. Will the candidates for graduate degrees please rise? Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, I'm honored to present these students who have successfully completed the requirements of their graduate degrees. With the approval of the faculty, I present them to you. Okay. Will the candidates please come forward? Hamza Mohammed Sinan. And Keith Jahendra Shah. Nikhil S. Shah. Awad Nasir Al Katani. Muhammad Ali Al Mulla, Gabir Singh Dod. Deepa A. Ravindra. Nadine Habib Sliman. Jason Edward Wolverton. Lindsay Marie Zion. 
Natalia Gasca Olvera. Ashley Renee Smith. Jordan Sung Gersell. Christina Martinez. Barbara Sue Urbane. Yan Lee. Sichuan Zhu. Carolyn Sellis Oates. Terry Jo Lutz. Cynthia Marie Hoopert. Tara Jane Neeb. Veronica E. Robinson. Amy Beth Polzen. Tina Marie Doyen. Amanda Lindsay Pearson. Melissa Suzanne Nearing. Maria Lynn Kulik. Stacy Sho Searing. Amy L. Couture. Jilan Kwan. Wei Shi. Zhuo Li. Yencheng Wang. John Carlisle Neeb III. Michael Jeffrey Hubbard. Liang Ji. Shua Jiang. Dua Akram Alwawi. Jessica Lynn Garvey. Kyle B. McDonald, McDaniel. Renee Christine Boots. You are well prepared for leadership in your professions and communities. Serve proudly and well. Now upon the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Control at Saginaw Valley State University, I am pleased and proud to confer upon you the graduate degrees you've earned, together with their rights and privileges and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations to you all. You may now applaud. Please be seated. We will now proceed with awarding the baccalaureate degrees. I will call upon Dean Rama Yelker to come to the podium to present the candidates for baccalaureate degrees in the College of Business and Management. Dr. Yelker. Will the candidates for baccalaureate degrees in Business Administration and Professional Accountancy please stand?
On behalf of the faculty of the College of Business and Management, it is my pleasure to congratulate you as you launch your careers in business or pursue further education. Your efforts have paid off, and today we celebrate you. We remind you to take pride in your SBSU business degree. Wherever in the world you may be, we look forward to hearing your success stories and to welcoming you back as our alumni. You make us proud. Will the candidates please come forward? Wu Ye Zhu. Yang Zhao. Hao Lo, summa cum laude. Kang Shan Zhu. Ye Yu Song. Guan Yan. Ixin Sun, Yusef Abdullah Al Faraj, Hassan Saeed Abdul Basi, Paul Michael Iori, summa cum laude. Shea Kamari Jawani, summa cum laude. Monica Danielle Frechette, summa cum laude. Renee Lynn Kutcher, magna cum laude. Ashley K. Schieffer, summa cum laude, honors program. Brendan Joseph Tully, Ashley Lynn Davis, summa cum laude. Emily Roshan Korn. Rachel Aaron Chatfield, magna cum laude. Marcus Carlton Green. Chad Howard Kelly. David Maurice Alexander, Jr. Brandon Lee Shaw. Mark Gerald Daman. Maurice Devel Macon. Luke Hawk Hart. David John Heinskill. Tricia Heinskill, Associate Director of Scholarships and Financial Aid, will present the diploma cover to her husband. Danielle Mary Girard. Kathy Girard, Office of Admissions, will present the diploma cover to her daughter. Jessica Lynn Carpenter. Haley Ann Perizuskiewicz. Tori Michael Paplinski. Robert Gregory Cathcart. Wes Gilberto Ledesma. Kevin Russell Birch. Justin Paul Longo. 
Tracy Lynn Klitsch. Zhao Bing Pan. Brian Zachary Gregory. Heidi Nicole Vogel, summa cum laude. Andrea Lee Grove. Caitlin Marie Hazelton. William McKnight Sheving. Amanda Ray Barber. Yanni Wen. Ying Jiang. Bruce Michael Sims II. Eric Edward Thornton. Mackenzie Lee Malcolm, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Ann Vining. Christopher Joseph Ware. Adam Michael John Winston Hansen. Nico Carlo Massabrio. Daniel Joseph Grudes II, cum laude. Jacqueline Janae Goslin, summa cum laude. Allison Whitney Moore. Chelsea K. Averill, cum laude. Kendra Michael Newman. Melissa Jo Stewart. Joshua Todd Bennett. Ariane Elizabeth Sylvester, cum laude. Brooke Catherine Beekmeyer. Allie Lynn Eisler, summa cum laude. Ernie Pollack, member of the SVSU Board of Fellows and an honorary SVSU alumni, will present the alumni uh, diploma cover. Rodney Allen Brewing. Ryan M. Bailey. Brandon James Pike. Zoe Page Stickler. Jamie Lee Kramer. Bridget Kathy Baber. Cambriella Ann Sanchez. Raylene Grace Mithsud. Michelle Shalena Evans. Frida Marie Coleman. Antoinette Katrina Martin. David Thomas Griffin. Edward Grant Keith Zapinski. Ethan Randall Kramer. Lindsay Elizabeth Hodgins, cum laude. Brianna Rose Smith. Hannah Ruth Gold, magna cum laude. Spencer Burdett Davenport. Samantha Ann Chevette. 
Jessica Eva Laddie. Marina Elena Jimenez. Yutong Zhang. Timothy Christopher Monroe. Wesley John Myler. Adam Michael McCormick. Scott Raymond Leslie. Casey Thomas Wendling. Mara Eden Deming, summa cum laude. Joey Allen Wisniewski, cum laude. Samantha K. Hitzman, summa cum laude. Ryan Allen Birchmeyer, cum laude. Dante Joseph Birch. Julia Suzanne Thomas, magna cum laude. Charlotte Victoria Wong, cum laude. Nicholas Robert Anderson, summa cum laude. Heather Lynn Matschlikowski. Jessica Nicole Elliott, summa cum laude. Nikki Jean Jamison, magna cum laude. Allison Sue Latham, summa cum laude. Janice Ariel Stitt. Mary Rose Rossner. Kathleen Marie Hamlin. James Bradley Brooks. Jonathan Andrew Brenner. Anna Alicia Millar. Sarah Janae D'Orzio, cum, cum laude. Shannon Gail Kamenak. Meredith Ann Shunaki, cum laude. Brett Patrick Beeland, magna cum laude. Amanda Jo Wade. Andrew Michael Tidwell, magna cum laude. Heather Marie Robinson. Nicholas P. Loberg. Andre Marlon Patton, Jr. Logan Noble Hauserman. Michael Matthew Blake. Andrew Scott Huffman. Austin James Corte. Robert Neil Pardon. Nathan Michael Liptowski. Kurt L. Lowell. Courtney Lynn Cole. Eric Andrew Cajun. Hope Marie Bishop, cum laude. Mohammed Mahmoud Al Mosabe.
Peter, Brian Peter Zachariah. Chad Ryan Elliott. Yiping Ding. Wenwei Wenwen Tao. Yu Shen. Changwei Zhu. Ruyu Wang. Zheng Li. Rang Xiao Mao, summa cum laude. Jing Mao Gao. Joseph Michael Burrell. David Theron Haderer. Mitch Charles Reinhardt, summa cum laude. Brian Curtis Winnegar. James Husking Andrzejewski. Kyle Douglas O'Boyle. Laurel Audre Matson, magna cum laude. Amanda Michelle Getgen, magna cum laude. Please join me in applause. You may be seated. I now call upon Dr. Judy Rulin, Dean of the College of Health and Human Services, to come to the podium to present the degrees in her area. Will the candidates for the degrees in the Crystal M. Lang College of Health and Human Services please stand? Your goal for a career in health or human services is becoming a reality, and currently there are many opportunities to serve in these areas. What you do with these opportunities will be something for which you as professionals are both responsible and accountable, and we are very proud of you and wish you well. Will the candidates please come forward? Laura Francis Hanshu. Anita Caitlin Forgy. Shana Marie O'Connor, cum laude.
Deidre Christine Wellhausen. Barbara Littlepage. Kelsey Janelle Boyce, summa cum laude. Jacqueline Christine Meadows. Heather Marie Buckley, cum laude. Marissa Joan Johnson. Marche Siobhan Anderson. <laughs> Stephanie Lynn Filatico, summa cum laude. Janora Maya Walker. <laughs> Heather Marie Haremski, summa cum laude, honors program. Julianne Kaylee Fulis, cum laude. Felicia Ann Bittler. Heidi Lynn McGraw. Katie Louise Waterstrout. Daniel L. Sanger. Alana Caitlin Ranucci. Rachel K. Ketch, magna cum laude. Lindsay Sue Griffiths, summa cum laude. Brian Anthony Wilson. James Lee Levitt, cum laude. Suzanne Garland Rule, magna cum laude. Holly Nicole McGraw, magna cum laude. Emily Marie McGrandy, magna cum laude. Kayla Marie Booms, magna cum laude. Danae Nicole Graves, summa cum laude. Katie Jane Glover, magna cum laude. Ashley Dawn Angel, cum laude. Corey Jo Schuf, summa cum laude. Kayla Jean Norlander, cum laude. Rebecca Marie Nichols, cum laude. Heather Leah McKinnon, magna cum laude. Allison Joan England, cum laude. Adam James Travis, cum laude. Brittany Lynn Case. Heather Leanne Calanandrino. Brandon Alam DeGroshi. Victoria Lynn Roberts. Alexandria C. Smith. Bridget Mary Catherine Booms, magna cum laude. Brittany Marie Rohde, cum laude. Megan M. Asilla Blue, summa cum laude. Jessica Ann Layton, cum laude. Megan Ann Buck, 
Magna Cum Laude. Caitlin and Arthur. Jacob Von Butcher, Cum Laude. David M. Sherbino, Cum Laude. Sean P. Yankee, Cum Laude. Brittany Lynn Shea, Cum Laude. Ashley Nicole Crump. Corey William Niederstadt. Michael Allen Hickson. Megan Nicole Bates. Jenna Lynn Heppensteel, magna cum laude. Alexa Ray Suida, cum laude. Tyler J. Chehowski, magna cum laude. Rachel Ann Busses, magna cum laude. Brandon Michael Fierstad, magna cum laude. Carrie Lynn Vassold, summa cum laude. Jadriana Elizabeth Subject, cum laude. Ernie Pollock, member of the SVSU Board of Fellows and an honorary SVSU alumni, will present the diploma cover. Daniel James Crusoe, summa cum laude. Ryan Timothy Tyler. Samantha Jean Chadwick, cum laude. Grace Marie Herzog. Marissa Ashley Nagiati. Wendy Jo Wilkinson Arnold, cum laude. Scarlett Brittany Simentek, cum laude. Emily Marie Ulowitz. Carrie Lynn Dysowitz. Nicole Therese Rizek. Jessica Ann Banning, magna cum laude. Amanda June Peterson, summa cum laude. Tiffany Marie Engel. Joseph Paul Krieger. Samantha Ann Freeman. Matthew J. McDaniel. Mitchell Jackson Lovett III. Michael Wayne Collins. Justif Chan McLean. Adam Joseph Setkoiak. Brandon Joseph Zhurjak. Dustin Michael Curran. Ryan Thomas Bush, magna cum laude. Cassandra L. Lake, cum laude. 
Tara L. Newbecker. Eric James Stinson. Kimberly Rose Loisel. Diamond Capri Terry. Rashawn James Kirkland. Natalie Jane Horney, magna cum laude. Ashley Marie Hebert, cum laude. Katrina Anna Schramke. Brittany Lynn Rowles. Jose Guillermo Parra. Andrew James Mahoney, summa cum laude. Justin Edward Adams. Ebony Faye Briscoe. Dwan J. Wallace. Tyler Jordan Grubb. Tyler J. Noble. Isaac Gabriel Stone, magna cum laude. Aaron K. Navarro, summa cum laude. Amber Marie Drabicki. <laughs> Tiffany Ray Barnhart. <laughs> Lacey Lynn Maiden. <laughs> Melanie Sherelle Coleman. Amy Lee Pamela Chuma, summa cum laude. Claire Colleen Margris, cum laude. Ashley Ann Hall. Terry Lynn Martinez. Taylor Willa Foco, cum laude. Celia Nicolette Treo, cum laude. Amy Ashley Kennedy. Emma Kim Devian. Abigail Lee Slagle. Kathleen Imelda Druyard. Vanessa A. Taylor, summa cum laude. Tara A. Redina. Jennifer Marie Leggett, summa cum laude. Eva V. Zestos, cum laude. Kadir Ghassan Ibrahim, magna cum laude. Latoya Kyoda Hare, cum laude. Charmaine Yovana Dunlap, cum laude. Lauren Lee Holsapple, magna cum laude. Maria Louise Sims, cum laude.
Michelle Marie Sawyer, summa cum laude. Alyssa Renee Elasevich, summa cum laude. Lee Marie Gaith, cum laude. Darissa Siobhan Trevec. Denise Latasha Ann Campbell. Chad Michael Ferran. Caitlin Elizabeth Kenyon, Meg Cum Laude. Alexa Christine Girls. Sabrina J. Bergman, Magna Cum Laude. Kara Michelle Hess Royce. Stephen Harley Knapp. Nicole Ann Franzel, summa cum laude. Emily Ann Brooks, magna cum laude. Mary Elizabeth Baylog, summa cum laude. Natalie Elise Stanizek, magna cum laude. Lauren Rosemary Birchmeyer, summa cum laude. Courtney Ann Lord, cum laude. Ellen M. Hendrick, summa cum laude. Caitlin Karen Mullins, cum laude. Felicia Lynn Doran, cum laude. Norma Linda Koss, magna cum laude. Jenna Lynn Hensler, magna cum laude. Brandon Robert Rivard, cum laude. Rachel Ellen Bush, summa cum laude. Jenna Marie Peter, summa cum laude. Allison Marie Bach, summa cum laude. Anessa Ray Campion, cum laude. Melissa Lou Tillotson, cum laude. Nicole Julia Pearl, magna cum laude. Shelby Lynn Franchi. Lisa Caitlin Yenner, summa cum laude. Stephanie Lee Zatz, magna cum laude. Amanda Renee Varva, summa cum laude. Abigail Elise Schmidt, summa cum laude. Carla Jean Krishik. Cynthia Lynette Tabit. Ryan Charles Wall. Christina Catherine Cushy. Jessica Elaine Westfall, cum laude. Audra Catherine Putt. Summa cum laude. Yeah. 
Kristen Lin Christy Lynn Newton, summa cum laude. Chelsea Jo Bess, magna cum laude. Shamarco Marie Branch. Kayla Danica Townsend. Keandra Rishan Green. Keandra Rishan Green. Samantha Elizabeth Sweeney, magna cum laude. Chelsea Louise Roos, cum laude. Heidi J. Gorski. Jessica May Hope. Shaila Lindsay Jenslack, cum laude. Mayra Cynthia Ruiz, cum laude. Riley Michelle David, summa cum laude. Adrienne LaJoyce Dudley. Jasmine Simone Lee. Tiffany Lynn Eisenberg. Carly Lynn Livingston. Marciela Macedonia Gonzalez. Rebecca Helen Myers, cum laude. Katie Lynn Jones. Jessica Mary Adisho. Shamarian Fastina Brumley. Jessica Lee Laporte, magna cum laude. Sandra L. Avery, magna cum laude. Amanda Ann Kosnick, magna cum laude. Casey Danielle Lupo. Erin Marie DeSmet, magna cum laude. Gwen C. Simpson, magna cum laude. Crystal Lillian Weber. Adam Brian Schulte, summa cum laude. Nicole Maria Grubauer, cum laude. Emma Christine Robbins, cum laude. Carly Jean Walker, cum laude. Tessa Joyce Buell, cum laude. Samantha Joyce DeMagla. Jacqueline Marie Mills, magna cum laude. Jessica Nicole Barber, cum laude. Adrienne Elizabeth Cunningham, summa cum laude. Kayla Marie Freeman, summa cum laude, honors program. Rebecca Noel Contreras, cum laude. Adrienne Lynn Muntz, cum laude.
Timothy Marcel Walker. Travis Mark Hoffman. Jason Ross Turner Bay. Sarah Elizabeth Davies, cum laude. Melissa M. Bowman. Latoya Chanel Colvin. Ebony S. Littleton. Rolandia T. Harris, magna cum laude. Dominique Julin George. Kara Morgan Cole, summa cum laude. <laughs> Carrie Rochelle Hansen, magna cum laude. Minerva Karina Gonzalez. Cassandra Lynn Showalter. Ala El Katabi. Allison Marie Short, Magna Cum Laude. Brittany Nicole Van Every. Lynette Rose Schneiderwin, cum laude. Jessica Lynn L, cum laude. Robert Irvin Miller, cum laude. Kelly Michelle Nidowski. Shannon Lynn Diebel. Rochelle Marie Bellinger Schmidt. Catherine Josephine Barron. Haley Ledee. Caleb West Ford, cum laude. What are yours? <laughs> Please join me in applause. You may be seated. Will all the candidates for baccalaureate degrees please stand? On behalf of your families, your university, let me tell you how very proud we are of you. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue 
of the authority vested in me by the Board of Control of Saginaw Valley State University, I am pleased and proud to confer upon each of you the baccalaureate degree you've earned, together with the rights and privileges and responsibilities appertaining thereto. You may now move your tassels to the left. You may be seated. We have a, uh, a few more traditions to honor here, one in which is the induction of all members of the graduating class into the Saginaw Valley State University Alumni Association. I ask Mr. Terry Lutz, president of the SVSU Alumni Association, to come to the podium. Thank you, President Bashan. Uh, tonight, I did have the unique opportunity to not only invite every, everybody that just graduated tonight, but also myself into the Alumni Association, or re-invite myself. Over the past three years, I've been working on my uh, Master's in Health Leadership, and so um, it was uh, kind of a challenge to figure out how to walk around and uh, mingle in with the, with the group. But, the alumni of Saginaw Valley State University reflect honor upon one another and their alma mater. You are now joining more than 41,000 graduates who have gone before you. Universities are judged by the success of their graduates, and you as new alumni are, and forever will be, what Saginaw Valley State University is all about. I hope that you will join thousands of alumni who have accepted the challenge to stay involved with the university through active participation in the Alumni Association. Inscribed in this scroll are the names of every member of this graduating class. I pledge that each name will be added to the list of the alumni of Saginaw Valley State University. President Bashan, will you please come forward to accept this list of new alumni? Thank you, uh, Mr. Lutz, all of you from the Saginaw Valley State University Alumni Association. A final uh, congratulations to our graduates. You've worked hard for the diploma you have received today. This has been a long journey, sometimes challenging, occasionally frustrating, at times exhausting, and in the end, hopefully rewarding. Now you are ready to seize important opportunities using your education to benefit yourself, your family, and your community. This is your important moment, and I offer my hearty congratulations. I want you to know that this is an important moment for all of you at SVSU, all of, for all of us at SVSU who have helped you along the way. For us, it has always been about your success. That is why many of us, professors, staff, administrators, and Board of Control members are here tonight to celebrate with you. Your success is our success. Your achievements are, are, are those of the faculty and the university you now represent. You are the face, our face, to the public. You will shape our shared image. Everyone who works on this campus has cared about you and your success in one way or another. There are people that you have never met, never seen, and will probably ever meet. They have given generously to scholarship funds to make college more affordable for you. They provided resources for new facilities, funded research laboratories, and they have supported research and travel opportunities for many of you students. They are our alumni, faculty, staff, corporate friends, and community foundations. Let's not forget that your success in graduating here today 
has everything to do with the sacrifices that support your family and your parents and siblings and your friends have provided you. Will the graduates, family, friends, and supporters please stand and be recognized by these graduates? Finally, we hope you'll keep in touch. Remember, this is your university, your sports teams, your concert series, your plays, your opportunities for continued learning. Come back frequently. Most of all, keep making us proud of you as we are of you today. Proud that you are excelling in your fields. Proud that you are working to make your communities better places to live. And most of all, a life that you can be proud of living. Good luck and congratulations to you all. Please rise for the recessional.